We're here in California in Big Sur on the coast where we built the first power block at an off-grid home. The home had an existing uh, solar and battery system as well as a generator, but the system was not performing for the owner. But we were able to reuse this, this shed that came and held the original system. Because the modularity of the power block, we were able to break up the unit and fit it here inside the shed. So what we have here is uh, one unit and the second one that are connected and each of them primarily hold the same equipment, battery, bi-directional converter, as well as all the other power electronics that makes the system work. And at this moment here, we're charging from solar, but the system also can seamlessly blend in generator power and we'll show you the generator and all the other equipment later. And as the name U-Solar indicates, the primary energy source of that nanogrid is the sun. In traditional solar arrays, each panel is connected to another panel to form a string. That makes all those panels depend on each other. In the power block, each panel is equipped with a microconverter that brings up the electric potential of that panel to the common high electric potential of the power block bus. This allows you to choose any type of solar panel, retrofit an existing solar array, and combine different types of solar panels into one array. The result is a plug-and-play, high-performance solar array that generates typically about 15% more energy than a traditional string array. The power block is a nanogrid, which means you can integrate any type of generation source, including a generator. Here at Big Sur, solar production is down a factor of three in the winter over the summer. So in order to build a reliable system and not having to oversize the solar dramatically, we included a generator here running on, on propane to provide energy uh, in the fall or in the midst of the winter when clouds come in from the Pacific. And this generator is integrated into the system, it's fully controlled by the PowerPlux controller and it turns on automatically, like we can see here. The system is also turned off by the controller and uh, so we can bring in a generator power as needed without any of the user input required.